Hello, we're going to be talking about the workflow app tool that connects your ClickUp to your workflows in your GHL sub account. So this is something that's going to help you to create workspaces, create lists, create teams, create tasks, and even add tags to your ClickUp account from your workflow actions. So it's pretty easy. We're just going to show you how to make a step-by-step -step setup of everything so you start by logging into your GHL plugins account if you are a newbie so this is your first time you need to go into your GHL plugins account then you go to linked accounts on the linked accounts you're going to link your agency by clicking on this button when you click on that button it's going to show you a form where you're going to be able to log in to your agency the agency on which you want to link the tool when this comes up you should log in so you can click here to log into your high level to continue when you click and you log in there will be some two there will be two check boxes that you need to check like approving that you want to share your details your data your information between ghl and ghl plugin so you check those boxes and you connect it's going to when that process is done it's going to automatically take you back to your ghl plugins account now in here, you need to navigate to workflow apps, click there, it's going to show you our different apps. So here you can see the different apps that we have, the available apps. You can search for the particular app that you want to install. In this case, we want to work with ClickUp. you will notice that ClickUp doesn't show on the available apps because I have installed already. For those who haven't installed, you're going to see ClickUp on the available apps. So I'll go to installed apps. And now check i see click up there if i click on setup it's going to let me select the agency because while linking your agency and your sub account you can link it depends on your package you can have the possibility of linking several other sub accounts now this setup will permit you to link a particular sub account or agency from your linked accounts so when this is done you can see it's the same process as the previous when that is done you're going to select the sub account or the agency preferably the agency you want to work in you are going to check the two boxes for approval then it's going to take you back here when everything is done now when you are done here it means you've installed your app what you want to do for those who are new you need to copy the custom menu link and you go to your agency you log into your agency view you go to settings custom menu link and you can add a custom menu link so you decide on your choice of account of sub account you want to link to that custom menu link if you're if you want to get give access to all your sub accounts to this action or to this custom menu link that you just added then that's fine it's your choice now when you're done with adding the custom menu link you just need to switch onto one of the sub on which you've added that custom menu link in our case we have our sub account and the name of our custom menu link was my app so you click on your custom menu link that you just added why in the sub account so we are in the sub account i have gone to the custom menu link and here i can see the connected apps available apps so you can go under available apps and you would search for all the apps that you want. In our case, you're supposed to search for ClickUp. So ClickUp doesn't show under available because it has been connected already. For those who haven't connected, you check under available. Here, just for friend's sake, we are going to check. So when you see your app popping up like this, it's going to show up the same under the apps available. So when you click here, is going to show you what is needed in order to connect your ClickUp and this sub account in order for the app for the workflow app to enter with your ClickUp that is adding task adding uh, workspace adding teams adding list and whatsoever so how do you get your api key from ClickUp? you make sure that you've logged into your ClickUp account and when that's done you go to your profile your icon you click on that the drop down is going to show you the different menu items you go to settings under settings you go to apps so from here you should be able to get your api token this is the my api token 
so you're going to copy your api token or you can regenerate one you copy your api token so you click on copy you get back to your sub account and you can paste your api token then you sub that will make the connection automatic that you've connected your clickup account to your ghl plugin tool now you'll be able to access all the exposed actions on clickup just from your workflow now how do we test this we're going to make it simple we're going to take a few actions and make sure that we've connected everything normally so we're going to scroll down under our actions to find where we're going to see clickup service so we have clickup service here we can make a clickup update space we can make a clickup create space so now we are going to make a, a test for this one let's try to create a space on our clickup so you notice that let's go back just so you can see exactly how many spaces we have here so we have space and we have support space we have to get a, a third space for example so we are coming back here this is the name of the space we are creating we call it third space for reference and you can enable whatever setting you want as you can see here so i can enable whatever setting and this is going to be applied to the space which is going to be created now we have the team id so in order to create a space you need the team id how do you get the team id from clickup you notice that this also takes custom fields and custom values you can have your different team ids coming through maybe through custom values or custom fields where they have been saved then you can use them here if you want to make dynamic stuff but if you have something just static then you can go into your clickup how do you get your ID? This is the ID. So you copy that. I will do a right click and copy. And I get in here into my workflow and I paste my team ID. So I'm going to save that action. I'll save my workflow. You might need to test your workflow, but here I'll just go in and push a test contact. This is my test contact. I'll run that. It's waiting for the action to be executed. Done. Now it's the big time for us to check. Boom. We have our third space for Rev created as a space in ClickUp. So you can see all these actions listed here on the ClickUp that you can execute directly from your workflow on your ClickUp accounts. This is something phenomenal and I would really like to walk through this with you if you have any difficulties. Let us know if you need any help. You can book a call with us or you can contact our support services. We are on for you. Thank you very much. And as you can see, these are all the various actions that you can go through and you can execute on your ClickUp just from your workflow. Amazing, isn't it?